I fix it? Will I use my welder? Will I use my numerous wire wheels that I've never used before? We will see. License plate would be nice to rivet in place of this. I think it's too thin to weld. No, I'm not a welder. I had to overlap it going this way because the blade goes this way. And that way, grass can't come out the things. And I buttoned it up there and had to stop there because the blade is about right there. So even though these are aluminum, that blade will just chop aluminum right the right off. You don't think so? Hit a rock with your lawnmower and see what happens. Not much. Aluminum isn't going to stop it. That's what the flashlight. Uh, uh, I think I gotta fill those holes. Those are supposed to be sealed. <laughs> That's so the bagger works properly. So everything flows this way, so it doesn't matter that the scales are going this way. Things gonna go that direction. I didn't use these things everywhere. Just on the important spots where there's like really bad rust. Otherwise they weren't really needed. That's not really holding. Oh yeah, there's some going up in there. Ugh, right in the face, dumbass. Alright, let's see the other side with the light on. I put the rust stuff on there. So, last. Seven horsepower, maybe. Just a lawnmower I found on the side of the road. The funny thing is, I found this on the side of the road, and the person that had this before had this whole duct taped <laughs> with the real duct tape. Pain in the ass getting that duct tape off. But the duct tape was working for him. But uh, it was the real duct tape, it was really sticky. I don't like the shit you buy today. I don't think there's any duct tape that sticks like the old stuff. You have to go to a friggin'. Uh, Gorilla tape. Alright. Other oh, rivets. All my rivets with the big hats, I ran out of those, so I had to go for small hats. Whatever, it's the same damn thing. <laughs> 